Hi peeps and welcome back to Cracktube. Today we're going to open some more boxes that I just got from the mail. So there are going to be a lot of pop finds and some extras. So let's do this. Whoppa! So as our first item we got one of my favorite characters from Fallout 4. It's Nick Valentine. So yeah, he just came in, I got him from Demo Spell in Leuven and he's really looking good, really happy with him. So as you can see, there is a whole second generation of Funko Pops of Fallout 4. I really was surprised with that actually. So yeah, I'm really happy with the choices that they make. I already got Cosworks and now I got Nick Valentine. So I got my two favorites for the next generation. I'm gonna open him right now. And see what he looks like. And here we go. The one and only Nick Valentine. Let's try to focus on him. Bum, bum, bum. Mm, yes, there we go. So yeah, that's him. Look at him. Got his little broken face. A lot of nice little details. Isn't that the plump gun, if I'm not mistaken? So one of the cheaper guns that you can make in the game. That's a really nice detail. Really cool. Nick Valentine. So yeah, that's this one. And here we got one of the newer Marvel characters. As you guys know, I'm a very big Deadpool fan. But this one isn't Deadpool, it's Gwenpool. So I don't know if many of you guys know Gwenpool. But to keep it short, she actually is a person from our world. Who went into the Marvel comic book world. And she doesn't have any powers. Or something like that but her, her power is that she was a nerd in our world who did read all the comics so her power again is that she knows everyone's secret and that's very powerful <laughs> actually and she's totally crazy she's just like Deadpool breaking the fourth wall being very funny and uh, yeah it's a very interesting comic book and I'm really happy with this pop fine. There is also uh, Spider Gwen, if I'm not mistaken. So it's almost the same thing, but then instead of Deadpool, it's Spider Man. So here she is the girl with no pants and a ghost hat. Gwenpool. As you can see, she's looking cool. Really nice addition to my Deadpool collection. The katana, the two holsters. What happened to a second katana actually? <laughs> Why did she hide it? <laughs> so, yeah, that's Gwenpool. Also, happy with that. Oh, very important, we got the disc because she's really hard to stand without it, as I just realized. So that's better. I'm really happy that Fenko did start to make this for all the female characters because yeah they're less stable because they are thin with their big heads but this solved everything. Like this. Nice. As I told you before I'm a very big Deadpool fan and I had some pop finds that I didn't like that much and I was asking if someone would like to trade them and instead of them I got those little boys my two other Deadpools so it's from the first series of Marvel so it's actually the same pop but in different colors the only difference is that this Deadpool had the red got the red color and on his belt is the Deadpool logo and on this one he has the X-Force colors and the X-Force logo right on his belt. But except from that, same box, not even 
the color of the box has been changed so yeah it's actually the same thing so let's open those ugly motherfuckers <laughs> so here we got the x-force deadpool unmask really like the details it's quite disgusting but yeah it's quite nice detailed and it's a really cool ad adaptation to my deadpool collection so i'm trying to get all of the deadpools all of them because yeah there's so many it's really crazy i'm really happy that funko pop actually did focus so much on deadpool but it's getting like on the level of batman that you're like whoa another deadpool again and what's the difference now oh another color okay okay but i'm really happy with the latest deadpool funko that they created the one that's floating in the air being ready to cut you with his katana so yeah that one looks very cool it's very different from what we saw before as the deadpool funkos it's like the spider-man one yeah it's it's a bit like this guy so you have like spider-man being able to float in the air with the little stand thing so that's actually something that they did with deadpool as well that he's able to fly in the air being able to get you so i can't wait to get the deadpool version so that's the spider-man so here we have the red version so as you can see on uh, yes there is the x-force logo try to put this one yeah we got it so here's the difference bum, 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 bum. so yeah actually the same Funko Pop, but just with those little small details. It's it's cool to have them both. I'm happy with it. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's my last item. It's not from Funko Pop. It's from League of Legends. And it's the one and only Blitzcrank. So I don't know if any of you guys play League of Legends, but as you should know on my channel, I do play a lot of League of Legends and this is actually one of my favorite characters as a support. Blitzcrank is really cool and yeah, let's unbox this baby. Fatimutu. <laughs> so here he is he looks amazing I'm really happy with him I actually think it's one of the best figures that League of Legends came out with right now he's very big so I'm gonna try to put him next to my Heimerdinger just to show you guys the difference in size here you go as it should be, Heimerdinger is way smaller than Blitzcrank in the game. So they also did that for the figure. So that's really cool. It looks cool. They all look cool actually. Really like the details that they put on those figures. But yeah, this time they created Blitzcrank. I actually got him from a friend of mine also from YouTube that had him two times in order and he sent me one of those so yeah thank you mate really happy with it and yeah he looks very cool look at those details ready to pull you in so yeah guys that were my latest updates of my collection really happy with the Funkos thanks to all of you who sent me those Funkos and yeah I hope to see you next time so let me know down below what you would like to see, what Funkos you are excited about it. Oh yeah, before we end this, did you guys see the latest Funkos that's going to come out of Lord of the Rings? I'm gonna put them right there. They look amazing. I'm so happy with them. Oh, the Bail Rock is epic. The day that it come out, I really need to get it right away. So yeah, the they released some pictures of what they were planning to do and it looked exactly like the drawings so i was really hyped and i'm even more hyped right now <laughs> so yeah guys i hope to see you next time 
I'm Crash, and I'm out. Bye-bye.